Mastercam's design and development continues to progress based on user surveys and testing. The latest redesign of the interface includes plane creation and editing functions. Mastercam 2018 has merged the controls from the dynamic plane and new plane dialog boxes into the new panel style interface introduced with the redesign of Mastercam 2017. Now, when you create a plane using the on-screen dynamic gnomon, the new plane function panel opens. And when creating a new plane from the planes manager options such as from geometry, from solid face, or relative to WCS, the same new plane function panel opens. The same function panel also opens when creating planes from within solid or surface functions such as trim to plane. The new plane function panel combines the functionality of the previous dialog boxes in one location. You can move and align the plane origin, set the work offsets, or set the new plane as the WCS, T-plane, and C-plane. The Advanced tab provides additional options such as defining a plane color, adding a comment, or creating view sheets. When creating a plane from surface geometry, you have the option of making the plane associative. If you later make changes to the geometry, the plane is updated along with the underlying geometry. If you choose to edit a plane, the Edit Plane function panel opens. Most of the controls of the new plane function panel are also available in Edit Plane. Merging plane creation and plane editing into the new plane and edit plane function panels provides simple controls in a central location. And the familiar look and feel of the panels results in an intuitive user workflow.